Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. And today we're going to take a look at the new iographer for shooting video with your iPad. Welcome to DVD. someone who is excited today because you have been playing with this device for a long time and finally it's out it's ready for production and we have Dave joining us that's right we have a special visitor it's Dave the actual inventor of the iographer I, I am the iographer he is yeah. the, the original iographer yeah you like how monster does like head monster and their titles uh -huh. are all like monster you should be you know, head or Head, head, head iographer. iographer. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put that on my new cards. Nice. So the that. funny thing is, uh, back earlier in the year when Ken and I went to NAB. And left me home. We did. We were walking around looking at all this stuff everywhere, and we happened to wander into the GoPro booth, if I remember correctly, where I saw this man. And you fell this, in love. <laughs> with this iPad mini with stuff all strapped to it, videoing things. And I was like, what in the hell is that? Well, this is so sudden, but uh, yes, that was me. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, we, we, I was hanging around the GoPro booth um, with one of my students. I, I teach high school, and so I brought one of my students every year uh, to do interviews and whatnot around, uh, around NAB. I've been doing that for several years for Post Magazine. And uh, I was tired of, of carrying these massive cameras and getting neck aches and whatnot. And so we said, let's shoot everything with our iPad. And, and you know, there we were with our iPad with the early prototype of the iographer and uh, with all the lights and bells and whistles. And, you know, we got some, it was funny because the GoPro guy uh, told a friend of ours, hey, can you ask them to please leave because people are talking with them and not talking GoPro. So. <laughs> that, that's awesome. When you can overtake some booth like GoPro, yeah. which has a huge name. But then they must, have, they must have backed off because I, can, I also came in the booth and we started, we shot an actual little video with you about it. And then, of course, we turned and we videoed some other GoPro stuff. But um, I was so impressed because... I am one of those people who loves my iPad mini, and I'm not as big of a fan of the normal-sized iPad. Right. But, I mean, they're okay, but I really love the mini. And so I remember being really excited when I saw it, and then you sent me one of the printed prototypes. So you, you actually launched the iographer on Kickstarter, but mm -hmm. you had to go through different phases. Tell us a little bit about how it came to be. Well, originally, uh, so I teach media and uh, animation at, at San Marino High School in California, and um, my kids here uh, all have access to iOS devices. Uh, we also have a couple of big, I call them the big cameras, um, but we have like a Red Scarlet and some nice. Canon cameras and, and some JVCs and broadcast kind of cameras. Um, but we only have maybe five or six of them, um, and I've got 130 kids. So if I want to have them to do projects, music videos, documentaries, whatever I assign them, it was insane to try and schedule them uh, to do it all. Plus, to even look at my RED camera, they have to pass an incredible test. And, uh, and so that's very difficult for them. So I started to let them use um, their iPads and iPhones. Um, and I was getting this footage that was all shaky all yeah. the time. And it drove me nuts. Or sometimes it was landscape, which I've uh, completely outlawed in my class. Um, and Thank then God. the audio, yes. And then the audio was horrible, uh, lighting, etc. So I started to look around for some type of a support case um, and didn't really see anything I thought was good because I really thought you needed to have some kind of a handle. That was the key for me. I wanted you to be able to walk around and be steady with it, put it on a tripod, add lighting, add add audio and so I sketched this thing up and kind of ran it through some of my cool kids say hey would you use this if, I mean, for your iPad and you know we kept running through different iterations of it and they said yeah this is cool this is cool you know what colors blah 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 and so I decided to design it in, in my 3D software and uh, and then create a 3D print uh, from shapeways.com in New York uh, it was like $200 to make this 3D prototype, which to me was unheard of back in the, 
being an old man like I am, back in the day, <laughs> not you know, old. To, make, to make a prototype, right? You had to carve something out of a piece of whatever, uh, yeah. foam or whatever. And yeah. or, much or you have to ship it off. You have to go send the prototype to China and get yeah, something right. sent back. It's very complicated, and, or it used to be. Yeah, it used to be you'd have to make a mold, yeah. and, and yep. it would cost, it, basically a prototype would be about $5,000. Yeah, and you wouldn't know if people liked it or not. So, yeah. I mean, what was... So I made this 3D print and it started to work. I came, I got it, opened it. Um, I was able to put my 37 millimeter lenses on. I was able to put it on a tripod. The shoes worked. I mean, it felt kind of flimsy because it was like some molded 3D plastic, but it worked. And so we really started to start using it in the class and people were like, wow, this is cool. And then I go, okay, maybe I should try this Kickstarter thing. So before I did the Kickstarter thing, I had dark hair and now I've got white hair. So. <laughs> It was one of the most stressful times in my life because if, if you're uh, if you like investing in penny stocks or something like that, the Kickstarter is perfect for you. Uh, yeah. But it, it was just an up and down roller coaster um, and drove me nuts. Um, <laughs> but, but you did out, finally make. We, your... we finally made it. We got funded. Um, we got picked up by uh, Forbes.com and Mashable. Wrote nice stuff about us and really took us to the next level. Um, so that really helped us out a lot. Well, I know uh, that from the moment that John got the prototype version in before yeah. everything was finished out, um, he, he fell in love with it immediately. And he's been using it. You, you guys who have been watching the live show every Friday have seen it over and over and over. I've used he, this rig. He just he loves playing with it. He loves having it in his hands. Well, the thing and he is totally totally stole it all from yeah, me. I, I haven't even been able to take it it's okay. until I finally got my red version in. That is true. <laughs> now, you guys have seen me. I, I like it because it has handles. So even if, even if I'm not trying to shoot videos or photos with it or something, I can literally just carry my iPad around by the handles. Yeah. And so that's why I have... Uh, so we've got a few different versions. Th these are finally out and available. You can order. Well, Dave, can they? If they order it right now, can do you well, have ship. enough to fulfill, or do they need to pre-order them? Where are we at with that? We are uh, stacked to the gills. <laughs> nice. We, we printed a lot of them. Uh, not printed, I should say. Uh, pressed a lot of yeah. them. Uh, in fact, last night I uh, had several orders from some universities. Um, uh, right now we're doing it all from the house. Um, it's literally like a startup in your garage. That's fantastic. Uh, but we've got a fulfillment company that as soon as my packaging, the retail packaging is ready, um, which is taking forever. Uh, but once that's ready, we're going to get it out to the retail, uh, to the, the fulfillment center and they'll ship it. But literally I was going to bed at 11 last night and I got a little ding on the computer and I had an order. I, I, did all this stuff on stamps.com and put it out, you know, ready to go for today. And nice. I'm shipping them immediately. Um, you know, you'll get it in like two days. I think you guys Excellent. got those in a couple days. But. Awesome. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's talk let's, about them. Yeah, there are all, all sorts of stuff. That, it doesn't look like it can do as much as it actually can if, at first glance. So we're yeah, going to show you what you can do. It looks like a little plastic shell. So when you yeah. get it, it looks like this. Don't um, touch mine. Oops. <laughs> it's durable. Oh, wow. And it's durable. It's durable. Um, and so what you quickly notice, though, when you're playing with it is that it has all these different attachment points. Yes. So this one is pretty loaded up, although not completely loaded. So you actually see at the top you have three attachment points. Yeah, three uh, hot shoe. Well, they're cold shoe. They're cold shoe mounts. Mounts. So you can you can put uh, you know accessories. You see that we've got a... Rode shotgun microphone on this one. I've also got a little Manfrotto light. Um, and there's still room for a third thing. I don't know what I would... I, I don't really know what third thing I would put on it yet. Um, you know, it's interesting. Two lights? I, I talked to some vendors uh, uh, about making... Um, I got invited to this Apple... Uh, what was it? A uh, systems engineer camp this summer. I mean, Apple's loved it since day one for education. Yeah. Um, and they, I went to this vendor camp where they, we got approached by some hard drive makers and some um, uh, portable battery makers. And we're talking with them right now about doing some stuff where we can connect, uh, and that'll be the third shoe area. For that would be a good nice. idea. Or yeah. I thought of one other thing. You could put a little, you can buy little square bubble levels. Oh, yeah. So you could even put one of those yeah, in Yeah, you could do that. But actually, look, we, we've got this feed going into the TriCaster, so you because can see close up here. Because you also see that you have a lens mount with the uh, mm -hmm. 
the, right. the ring here. So we've attached this little lens that you got for like, I don't know, eight bucks. 15 bucks 15 or 12 bucks. bucks or. So you can do that. And then show them the bottom. And then on the bottom is the tripod mount. So yep. we have like on this, the blue one right here, we have a tripod, a little mini table tripod attached to it which makes it perfect for, you know, if you're trying to do something on the table and grab some. Uh, we also have done this camera lapse. This just obviously just uh, screws right in. This, this, this is, is pretty, actually like an egg timer. Yeah, because it's really cool because what you could do is you could put your you iPad in there. Do you, oh, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> you put your iPad in there and you could get a, uh, a time lapse app uh, for your iPad. And you could put that in there, and it would sp it'll spin. It's one revolution per hour, so you could do a 360 time lapse yeah. using your iPad Mini with the iographer with that thing. Okay. So, so as you cool. can see, we just we just and yeah, she just stuck a little she stuck a little MXL mic, a, a different type of mic. Yeah. And then we've got one here mounted on the uh, mounted on a tripod. Yep, that just snaps right off. Yep, and and you can see we put even much bigger lights on this. this what is, is the weight capacity? That's a great question. I've actually uh, was asked that from a retailer, um, and I sent it to our engineer that we're working with with the uh, for the molds, and they're going to send us back some information. But it's made out of a polycarbonate ABS blend, which is the highest grade we could find. So I think you'd really have to stack a lot of stuff on it to, to do any damage at all. This well, is some yeah, pretty heavy stuff the, right here. This one also, we don't have, it, it it's, looks like it's bending a little more, but that's also because there's no iPad mini in it. It's just right. the plastic. When you put the uh, iPad mini, it gets even more rigid. Yeah. But this yep. is this is a big, um, what is this? This is the Rode, let me not unplug my little <laughs> thing here. This is the Rode uh, SVM, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now that's different. It's not a shotgun mic. This mic is more for just a... You know, what what did you say? It's a, it's, a video, it's a video camera mic. Yeah, it's just a video camera mic to get everybody in the area. And then this is one of those big uh, CR160 or CN160, really cheap little camera, I mean, uh, lights. But they put out a tremendous amount of light. So actually, I have one on mine as well. <laughs> yeah, nice. We have some uh, questions coming in from the chat room. Ask questions. Internet, well, first of all, where can they get it? Iographer.com, correct? We're on iographer.com, and I just put it up on Amazon, so it's up there. Oh, nice. Uh, but, Perfect. Uh, and then we can give, uh, before the show's over, we can think of a nice little discount code and, and give it out to people, too. Sweet. That'd be awesome. Geek Beat. <laughs> yep, Geek just Beat. Geek that, People will beautiful. remember it. And uh, do you well, ship internationally? Geek Beat. What's that? Do you ship internationally? I've, it's interesting. I sh I, I, I'm not joking. Some prints in Qatar... Uh, bought one recently. Nice. And so I've shipped every single place in the world. That is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. What? And when will the iPad, the full size iPad ones, be available? This one right here. Yes. Oh. So this is the full size iPad. And I don't know. We can't really. Maybe turn it on a little bit. But. <laughs> is it ready to go? So uh, this is a mold sample, okay. and um, and we tested it out. To uh, the molds are being made in China because it's just so expensive over here to make molds. Uh, it was like a third of the cost. Mm. Uh, but we're making everything. Once we get the molds, they're here in California. That was really important for me. Um, I wanted to be able to drive down to the factory if I had to and deal with things. Um, and it was just really wanted to make things in in the USA. So, so you uh, so you have the you're having the you have the mold made in China. They ship it here, and then here you take it to some company that puts it in a press or something, and then they take yep. the sheets of plastic and just stamp them, or what? No, no, it's it's a hot injection mold. So it's oh. this, the, the mold for the mini was sixteen hundred pounds. Uh, it's funny because I, I thought it was so expensive to ship over here. It was like thirty five hundred dollars. I go, why can't I just fly to China for like a thousand dollars? I'll pick up my mold and come home. <laughs> yeah. But they said, well, it's 1,600 pounds. This is a massive block of steel. Hmm. Um, and so we're doing it here in Chino, California, a place called Acorn Plastics. Uh, um, happened to be one of my students' moms who uh, runs the company um, and uh, gave us a great deal and has been really supportive. And uh, so we're doing everything there in Chino Hills. So the big one, the mold, 
uh, this was a test to uh, make sure that everything fit and, and is snug. And, and um, so now we're adding a, a texture to it. And then uh, they're sending the mold over. We're expecting it about three weeks. So I would say four weeks we'll have those ready to go. Awesome. Cool. Cool. And what about an iPhone version? Well, funny you should say that, but uh, the iPhone one is done. Uh, the, the prototype I'll have Friday in my hands, uh, um, and I'll send you guys some pictures and whatnot. And then once we test the prototype out um, and everything is looking good, we'll start the mold process. Um, we were kind of holding back, waiting to see what the iPhone uh, 5S was going to be like, what size. Um, and so now that we know we're going full steam, it's going to be able to fit the 5 and the 5S. Um, and it's really a cool, I don't know, well, let's see, I don't have anything here to show you, but, but it, it looks like a gaming device. A lot of the kids are like, wow, this is cool. It's got handles all the way around, and oh, so you nice. can hold it down low, or you oh, can hold cool. it on the sides or up top, and it's pretty cool. It looks like, a, like you could play a racing game with it. That's what the kids say. I'm like, no, no, you got to make movies with it. Uh, <laughs> well, but, I think but, you actually do some of that, the, yeah, the little racing absolutely. games with yours. Why not? <laughs> okay, and how about... Any plans for other uh, your devices other than Apple, like the Nexus 7 or a Galaxy Tab or you know, anything, anything like that? I have been uh, asked so many times about that, and, and I'm really trying to put my head around it to find a device that's just become the Android front runner. Yeah. Uh, because they constantly change sizes on you all the time. and. Yeah. Uh, I would love to. Um, in fact, I bought the domain name Aographer just in case. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So we'll see with that. We are developing right now a hood uh, to cover so when you film, you can see it and when you're outside in the, in the sunshine, um, you can see what's going on. Cool. And, That's awesome. Yeah. And coming next year is wow. the Iographer Commando, which is going to be a waterproof case. Nice. Oh, very cool. He very is on cool. top of it. Yeah. I mean, you sa sounds like you had, you know, some frustration during the Kickstarter project, but as soon as that was over, you just went full force ahead, which is fantastic to see in a, in a product. Yeah. Now, one thing before we kind wrap, of wrap it up, it up um, this is a question that we had when we first started using it, and I think it's probably something that you'll get from other people. So let's just address it right now. Um, mm -hmm. When you put the iPad mini in, uh, you actually are locked out of the lock button. The power button. The power button, yeah. What, so, what was so. the choice for the design for not being able to stick your finger in there and push the power button? I'm glad you said that. Um, so I get a lot of emails from people, and once I show them the video tutorial I made, um, uh, they're very happy. The <laughs> biggest part of, uh, we were in the testing phase, in the, in the prototype phase, was uh, if you went outside to shoot, you were getting light um, sneaking in through the side. And if you had lenses on that, it would bounce back and forth and, and would give you this horrible image that you didn't want. So we had to make a decision whether to block the light or let people uh, uh, be able to turn it on and off with the on-off button. Um, so we decided to block it. And uh, lo and behold, Apple, the geniuses that they are, they have something called assistive touch, which allows you to set up um, in your general settings. Um, you can set it up and just press the button, and it'll turn the... the uh, uh, the iPad off when you're done shooting, ah, so you won't waste the battery. There you mm -hmm. go. Nice. I did not know that. I'll have to look that one up. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Final question. Pricing. Did we talk about that? We did How not. much are they when people want to order them? I wanted them to be as affordable as possible. I wanted these. I, we, we've been giving them out to uh, not giving them, but um, uh, schools um, that that come and visit my school uh, originally. And this is something we didn't talk about, but. Some of my neighboring schools are not remotely um, as affluent as us and, and able to buy the things we have. So they don't really have a media program or they don't have an animation program. Um, so with an, a $300 iPad and our case and a couple of apps, all of a sudden they can shoot videos, they can shoot uh, animation projects, they can stream things. Um, so they've been really uh, getting into it. And so I wanted to make it really affordable. Uh, we came up with a price point of $65. Um, and actually, for Geek Beat people, we're going to do a, a fifteen dollar off. So just wow, use Geek. nice, awesome. Yeah, I was we'll expecting like ten percent off or something. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's oh, fantastic. wait a minute, then let's do a countdown. <laughs> yeah, we'll, I'll put that up today. Um, it, we'll run it for like thirty days, and and uh, for Geek Beat, 
and uh, and they just have to type that in when they check out and get fifteen dollars off. And uh, we want we want people to start making better content, you know. Cool. Uh, and and be empowered by these types of things. So, all right. All right the last little thing. Uh, that you I, said last question uh, last no, time. The last thing is not a question. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to add to this conversation is. Um, Remember a few weeks ago we did I did a an interview with Michael and about the VisiWig app and I was showing you guys how you can use um, iOS devices to make multi-camera mm -hmm. videos, do multi-camera video shoots, and even you know in the very near future live stream uh, multi-camera setups. This is the perfect device and perfect setup for that because as you can see, I mean, we've got yeah. several of these here. The, the iPad mini is great because it's compact enough that you know it's, it's, it's much smaller than lugging around a lot of full-size iPads, but it still has a big enough screen that it... it you so know, can see everything you need yeah. to. Yeah. And so to be able to put them in several of these cases and mount them on tripods or have people work them... Yeah. Um, as independent cameras, and then be able to use VisiWig to switch them all, you know, through one yeah. central camera. It, it's just amazing. The, com the combo together is fantastic. Yeah, so don't for forget sure. that. Check okay. that out, guys. I, I actually, uh, uh, just on that really quick, uh, last week we had a, a Common Core town hall meeting, and uh, they asked me to film it with my kids. And so I had three of them with, I saw the show that had uh, the VisiWig, and I was completely blown away. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, uh, and so I had three of the kids uh, with the app on, and we bought it like right there on the spot, because I remember, oh my God, we gotta have this. <laughs> and we streamed, uh, we did three, uh, three camera shoot, three iPad shoot. One of my students was the director, pressing back and forth and adding whatever, and it was amazing. I love that app. That is awesome. <laughs> that is cool. I am so happy that we have these kind of tools nowadays that anybody can be can produce amazing, yeah. amazing video content. So, you guys, you know where it is, iographer.com. 65 bucks, Geekbeat gives you uh, $15 off, so. Yeah, but only for 30 days, so hurry and get it. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what you think in the comments below, youtube.com yep. slash geekbeattv. Thanks, Give Dave, for joining up. us. Thank you, guys, you guys are awesome. Two of you got them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.